cybersecurity incident report documents the details of a cyber attack that may result in a data breach, blocked network access, or damage to the victim's hardware or software. The report is used to assess the risk level of the cybersecurity incident and contain the damage in a timely manner. In this video, we'll cover common types of cybersecurity incidents, federal requirements for reporting cyber attacks, and what to include in a cybersecurity incident report. Worry forms the world's largest database of online legal forms, and we're here to help explain and simplify complex legal processes you may come across in everyday life. You can find a fillable template at the end of this video to complete your own cybersecurity incident in just minutes. Cybersecurity, also known as information technology or IT security, protects computer systems and networks from unauthorized users to gain access to valuable information, such as passwords, banking or credit card information, health records, and more. Let's go over the most common types of cyber attacks that may warrant an incident report. Phishing. This is the most widespread form of cyber attack due to its effectiveness. Using a fake email account pretending to be a trusted entity such as a bank or the IRS, it typically leads the victim to a fake website that looks nearly identical to the original one. There, the victim is tricked into inputting valuable information such as passwords, credit card information, and more. Malware. Short for malicious software, malware is a program or software that is typically installed onto a device without the user's knowledge or consent. Using this access, it can infiltrate the device or network and gain unauthorized access to valuable data and information. A ransomware attack encrypts a victim's files, holds their access hostage until a ransom is paid to the attacker. Some research shows that a ransomware attack can infiltrate an entire company's network in less than an hour, so it's vital to report any malware activity as soon as it's detected. Distributed denial of service. A distributed denial of service attack floods the targeted host or network with traffic until it crashes. This prevents users from accessing information, systems, devices, or other network resources that can render a company's resources and services inaccessible, costing time and money. Due to the prevalent and powerful nature of cyber attacks, a new federal law was signed in spring of 2022 to require companies operating in critical infrastructure sectors to report cyber incidents within 72 hours of discovery or within 24 hours of ransomware attacks. For these companies, cybersecurity incident reports can be submitted to report at cisa.gov or 888-282-0870. If medical records were breached, the incident must be reported to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and to those individuals who were or may have been affected within 60 days of the incident if it involves 500 or more records, or within 60 days from the end of the calendar year if it involves less than 500 records. So what should be included in a cybersecurity incident report? At minimum, it should include the following details. Point person's name and contact information, time, date, and type of cyber incident, containment measures, impacted services, and description of data involved in the incident. Check out the link below for a fillable form to fill out your own cybersecurity incident report in just minutes. Want to learn more? Visit our website at eforms.com where we have thousands of pages dedicated to simplifying confusing legalese so that you can take legal matters into your own hands.